Hey everybody, Ashley here with a tech video. Listen, there are thousands and thousands of Go XLRs in use today by streamers. Unfortunately, it was announced back in March and April timeframe that TC Helicon laid off all of the staff responsible for firmware, software, and driver support, which basically means end of life for the Go XLR. Uh, but this video isn't about comparing and contrasting Go XLR versus Elgato or Razer or Beacon or Mackie or Roadcast or anything like that. That's on you to figure out and make your own decisions. What I'm doing with this video is going to show you the easy way to understand, set up, and configure the Roadcaster Pro 2 or the Roadcaster Duo, which is basically just a slightly smaller and less expensive version of the Pro 2, if that's what you've decided to do. Now, what I ran into when I was first setting this up was in looking at a lot of videos online about setting this bad boy up, I couldn't find a single one that explained it very simply. So I decided to put it together myself basically for the time crunched uh, gaming streamer. Note, this is not a feature by feature walkthrough of the Roadcaster. You can discover that on your own, just playing with the device or, you know, find some other videos. Uh, I'm also not going to go through the basics of how to turn it on, connect it to the internet, upgrade firmware, all that basic stuff. Again, you can do that on your own. What I'm doing with this video is gonna help quickly get everything configured the right way in a dual PC streaming setup so that OBS, Discord, the game, your microphone, headphones are all inputting and outputting to the right places. So let's start with a simple diagram of how not to set this up. I found this online from someone who couldn't figure out how to separate the game audio from the microphone audio. So to fix it, he ran another cable between the two PCs. You do not need to do this. In fact, one of the reasons I moved to the Roadcaster was to eliminate all of this extra cable bulk I had going on with cloud lifters and audio interfaces, headphone amplifiers, cables everywhere, uh, ground loop isolators. I replaced all of this stuff with the Roadcaster. I didn't need any of it and it looks beautiful and works great. So, okay, here we go. Let's start with a simple diagram of the connections and what to configure in each PC to get everything talking to everything else. We'll do all of the different routing in a little bit. All right, starting with just the physical connections. Streaming PC on the left, gaming PC on the right. Your USB 1 connection is going to go to your streaming PC. Your USB 2 connection is going to go to your gaming PC. You're going to plug your microphone into microphone 1 and your headphones into headphone 1. That's pretty darn easy and pretty straightforward from a physical connection perspective. Now, how these are represented on the computers gets a little more complicated. So on the streaming computer, when you look at what inputs and outputs are presented, you'll see Roadcaster Pro 2 Main Stereo and Roadcaster Pro 2 Chat. On the USB 2 side, for the gaming computer, you'll see Roadcaster Pro 2 Secondary. And in fact, what you're going to see on the gaming PC side is you're going to see two devices you can configure. One is going to be a headphone that is assigned to that secondary, and one is going to be a, a desktop microphone also assigned to that secondary. Now, conceptually, what's going to happen here is we're going to have our microphone and all of our chat activity, whether it's to OBS or to Discord, is going to go over that chat channel. You're also going to send your mic over the Roadcaster Pro 2 secondary to your gaming machine over that desktop microphone so that you can talk in game. Now, our game audio is going to be coming from the gaming machine over Pro 2 secondary and being sent out to Pro 2 main stereo and, of course, to your headphones. So when you put that all together, you have uh, channel separation. We don't have our game audio going over the chat channel. We keep that nice and separate. And you don't need extra cables to connect those two to separate the audio. And then also, by the way, as far as our Discord chat coming back, we're going to bring that back over the uh, Pro 2 chat channel so that we can manage that separately from the main audio coming from the PC. You don't have to do it that way. You can send your Discord chat back over the main stereo, but I choose to do it that way. Now, finishing up our basic configuration on our PC, on our gaming PC, we're going to set up our output to go to the Rodecaster Pro 2 secondary headphones. And our input for the microphone is going to be coming from the Rodecaster Pro 2 secondary as well, desktop microphone device. From there, we move over to the streaming PC and we change our output to use the speakers, Rodecaster Pro 2 main stereo. And then for the input, we're going to use the Rodecaster Pro 2 chat microphone. And that is it from a basic configuration perspective. We've got the PC set up. We've got everything physically connected the way it needs to be. We don't need any extra cables to make everything work the way we want. We're going to do all that configuration in the Road Central application coming up right now. All right, so firing up the Road Central app, I'm just going to go through some basics here, and then we'll get into the more detailed routing. Um, and uh, everything you do here in the app, you can do on the 
uh, on the device itself. And I've got it inset in a window there. Um, we'll start with the audio setup. And audio setup shows you your faders that you have on the device. And these are customizable. This isn't the default configuration. This is what I put in place. And you can just, basically what you do is you can just, you know, drag and drop these however you want them. Okay. So pretty easy to, to change which devices are in which faders. And then all you have to do to configure each one of these is, you know, you can click on a little icon and you can see I have the Shure uh, SM7B microphone. I have it configured with uh, 59 decibels of gain. This is what I, what I talked about, not needing a cloud lifter uh, for the SM7B or other uh, mics that might need a little help. You can crank this baby all the way up to, I think, 72 or 79 dB. So it, it works really well. And then it's got some default processing, you know, you can set for, I'm not, again, not going to go into all that, but basically that's where you do it. And then you don't have to go back and click each one of these. If you just scroll through each one of these, then you can set the gain and, and any other processing you want on any of your inputs as you, uh, you know, you can just kind of scroll through them this way, arrow through them, makes it a little bit easier. Okay. So that's audio setup, right? And then you have uh, device configuration. So starting with outputs, you have headphones. Now, if you have high sensitivity, you know, earbuds and things like that. So I have, I have some low sensitivity uh, headphones, so uh, I check that one. And of course it tells you it's gonna increase the output. Make sure you turn down your headphones first. You don't wanna blow your ears out. All right, and before I get into monitor and all these other ones, let's look at display. Display just sets brightness, things like that, blah, blah, blah. Don't care much about that. And then the system settings, MIDI information. Now MIDI, if you are interested, those smart pads can be programmed with MIDI controls and you can actually control OBS or Streamlabs through those smart pads. And you have a whole bunch of smart pads you can use. So uh, I've used a couple of them. And uh, so pretty, um, pretty slick. If you're interested in a video like that, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll put one together. Uh, routing, we're going to skip. We're going to do that last. Uh, multi-track, you're not going to use unless you're, you know, recording multiple uh, input sources into your mixer, you know, microphones, guitars, keyboards, things like that. You use multi-track to uh, feed into your DAW. All right, let's talk about routing. On our streaming PC, we have, you know, maybe Spotify, we're playing music. We have Discord to, to do chat. And then, of course, we have our streaming software, OBS Studio, Streamlabs, you know, XSplit, whatever. Okay. And our gaming PC, we obviously have our games that we uh, prefer to play. So here's what's important to understand about the Rodecaster out-of-the-box default configuration. When you plug this in, uh, here, I'll make it real simple. Everything is being sent to everything at the same time. What that means is if you have your streaming PC and you're playing Spotify and you have it going to Rodecaster Pro 2 Main Stereo, it's getting sent out Pro 2 Main Stereo to the mixer, which is then sending it right back out the Main Stereo channel back to the PC. Uh, it is also then sending it back through Pro 2 Chat, and it is also sending it out to Procaster Pro 2 Secondary on the gaming PC, as well as sending it out to your headphones and any other output devices you have plugged in. On your gaming PC, if you're sending something out Pro 2 Secondary, like your gaming audio, it is getting sent out to the streaming PC over Pro 2 Main Stereo. It is also by default going out Rodecaster Pro 2 Chat, it is also going out to your headphones, right? So it's being sent out to every other output that there is. Your microphone is getting sent to Rodecaster Pro 2 Chat. It is getting sent to Pro 2 Main Stereo, and it is getting sent to Pro 2 Secondary. And by now, you're thinking, why did I get this? I'm sending it back. This isn't going to work, but hang on. It's really simple, actually, once you've done it. And I'm going to show you exactly how you get everything going where you want. Check it out. This little clip shows what a mess uh, OBS is with all these things turned on. So I'll freeze it here and zoom in and explain my sources. So I've got Discord, okay? We've got the main mix, which is coming from the mixer. That's what the game sound. And uh, the music is the Spotify app playing uh, on the streaming PC. PC audio is the desktop audio from the PC, which we're gonna turn off anyway. And then SM7B is the uh, my microphone that I'm talking into, but really think of it as that Pro 2 uh, chat channel. So, you know, basically everything is just stepping all over everything else and it's creating a mess. So here's how we clean it up. All right, let's start with headphones. Headphones are the easy ones. We basically want headphones to hear everything. So in our Rodecaster, um, sorry, Road Central app, device configuration, routing. By default, everything is gonna be set to main mix, okay? Now, in most cases, headphones can just be main mix because you want to send everything there, as well as monitors. So if you have speakers, they can just get the main mix. The only thing you might want to change with headphones, if we go to customize, is to take your microphone out. So you're not, uh, now if you want to hear your mic in your ears, you can do that. Uh, if not, then you just double click that bad boy and it's gone. So headphones are easy. Speakers are easy. We're going to skip over record. Uh, we're going to skip over Bluetooth. But I mean, if you have speakers that you have connected or some kind of output source connected via Bluetooth, you know, you can um, specify what you want to get sent to Bluetooth. All right, 
let's move to Roadcaster Pro 2 main stereo. So what do we want to go out to main stereo? By default, it's everything. But we know we don't want everything because that includes, well, everything. Um, now, while I'm here, I'm going to explain mix minus real quick. Mix minus. Remember when I talked that anything coming in from the USB is also being sent right back out the same USB? Um, that's basically what mix minus does. Mix minus prevents that. So if it were coming in, for example, from the streaming PC into the mixer, mix minus basically just subtracts that and doesn't allow that to be sent back out the same interface. What that looks like in custom um, is to just do this. That's all mix minus is. Um, now I never use mix minus because I'm always customizing stuff in here. All right. So anyway, so, but that's a good start. So we know we don't want to send our same things coming in on Pro, uh, Pro 2 main stereo out. So that's a good start. Um, so we'll just take these in order. Our microphone. We don't want our microphone going out uh, the main stereo channel. We're going to send that out the uh, chat channel, right? So we're going to get rid of that one. We don't want the main chat channel, anything that comes in there being sent out. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, USB 2, secondary. So anything that comes in USB 2 secondary, do we want that to be sent out to our streaming computer? Well, our gaming audio is going to be coming in from that on USB 2. So we definitely want that to go out to the streaming computer. So we'll leave that one on. Uh, we don't have anything coming in Bluetooth. Um, our smart pad, do we want that going out? Well, that's an option. Uh, so let's say you're using the smart pad for sound effects. Uh, you have a choice. You can send those out the main channel and go those into your recording, or you can send those out to the voice channel or to the chat channel. Uh, me personally, I send it out chat so I can control. So the only thing I have in game audio is game audio. And then I can control, you know, what I do with my voice or what I do with sound effects or, you know, uh, things like that through the smart pad. Then I have those on a separate channel that I record that I can control um, in post. So I turn that one off. And then um, these inputs, you know, are unused. Uh, today uh, at the point so it doesn't hurt to leave them on there's nothing in them uh, well actually I do on three and four but so anyway I don't want those going out so I turn those off so with number one you're done okay let's look at next our chat channel again main mix let's go to custom what do we want to go out to our chat uh, we want a microphone for sure definitely microphone going there we don't want to be sending anything we get in from the gaming, uh, in from the streaming PC back out the chat. So we disable that. Uh, we don't want to send anything th that comes in from chat right back out the chat. So we do that. That's the mix minus. Okay. Um, we don't want our gaming audio coming from our gaming PC going out chat. We only want the microphone. Okay. We don't want Bluetooth. And like I said, this is your choice, but I do have my sound effects and things like that going out to the microphone. So I leave that on. The other two, I turn off. And then lastly, what do we want going to the gaming PC? Okay. Okay. So but first, we don't want itself going out. So we just do that one right away. Do we want our microphone audio going to the gaming PC? And the answer is yes, because that's how we get in-game chat to the game. So we leave our microphone on. Do we want... Other audio coming from the streaming PC, like music, anything else going out to our game. No, we don't want that either. Do we want anything from the chat channel that comes in from the streaming PC going out to the game? Probably not. I can't imagine why you'd want any Discord chats coming in going out to the game channel. Um, do we want Bluetooth? No, we don't. Do we want sound effects going to our gaming PC to the in-game chat? Uh, yeah, why not? You know, maybe do some funny things uh, in chat, sure. And then turn the other other inputs off. That is basically the setup. Now everything is going to be cleaned up and routing the way you want it to. All right, but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, did it actually work? So check it out. So you see my mic? Uh, I'm talking on my mic, obviously. You can see it's only hitting the uh, microphone input on that chat channel. So SM7B, no other faders are are uh, showing mic input perfect okay what's next let's check out our main mix which is coming from the gaming pc okay gaming pc only being shown in main mix not in any other channels beauty all right so let's try music uh spotify or in my case amazon music let's turn that on <laughs> 
So there we go. We got music coming in only in the music channel where I want it to be. Of course, it comes in PC audio because it's on the streaming PC. Um, so we always just mute PC audio. Perfect. All right, and how about we check uh, Discord now? So I'll put on my uh, Discord test, and we'll see if Discord works. It should only, uh, my microphone will be talking out to Discord, and then coming back in from Discord should come into here. Let's check it out. Yeah. Check. Check. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, and one last thing. Let's check those smart pads to see where that audio is coming from. So we'll try our little... Uh, uh, a little applause track. Let's see where that goes. Let's try our horn. We got our applause track coming in through the voice channel, not coming in through the main mix, so I can handle that separately in, in post. All right. So there you have it. Fully configured Roadcaster Pro 2 and a dual PC gaming streaming setup, all channels separated where they need to be separated. Uh, no extra cables required, no cloud lifters, no line in, line out. Rig them a roll with uh, between two PCs. Easy peasy. Oh, and I forgot um, to configure Discord, the inputs and outputs. So input is going to be the microphone uh, from Roadcaster Pro 2 Chat. Output is going to be speakers from Roadcaster Pro 2 Chat. And then in-game chat, I'll just show you uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, so your main uh, speaker game sound device is going to be headphones, uh, Pro 2 Secondary. And then your voice chat output device is going to be headphone again, same thing, headphones, Roadcaster Pro 2 Secondary. And then your microphone is going to be the uh, Roadcaster Pro 2 Secondary as well, but microphone. So pretty straightforward. So, hey, listen, I appreciate you watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, I appreciate you uh, smashing that like button, maybe leaving a comment. Again, if you'd like to see a video on how to configure uh, those smart pads, to work with MIDI and controlling OBS or Streamlabs OBS, let me know and maybe I'll throw something together, okay? Again, thanks for watching and I will see you later or I will see you on another time. Peace.